a fear of being judged, a fear of a backlash, and I don't just mean, oh, I might lose some subscribers. I mean, subscribers come and go. I'm, I get scared of losing friends. Over expressing positions that are not politically correct at all. I get scared of it. I... There are areas of, of immigration, migration, that I am not a liberal on. And I actually have never been much of a liberal on, but I've tried covering it up. Haven't wanted to admit to myself things, and in turn haven't wanted to admit to other people things. Um, there's a video that I have processing right now. It's gonna be, it's, it's gonna take two hours to, 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 to render this video. I don't know why it takes quite that long, but I did make quite a few color corrections on it. Um, Stefan Mullany made a video recently about migration in Europe. And also talks about the United States a bit too. And just North America. And I... It made me really uncomfortable because it's, it was parroting some th a lot of things that I've thought for a long time. And... It, it's strange that there's, there's more of a fear of saying something that will be interpreted as right-wing than there is fear of saying almost anything else I could possibly say. You know, in public. It shouldn't be that way, but that's, I mean, just in the, some of the things I've said already, people were starting to lump me in with, with, with Hitler. People were lumping me in with, with white uh, supremacists. Just because I dared to, to just talk about things. I just want to, you know, and, and how do you... There, there are people who think that you can just somehow, well, just, just look at the situation differently, and you, and you'll just think differently. And it, it, no, it, it, it won't. I, 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 I can study up on liberal viewpoints all I want, and then all I can see is this, this thing of, why can't we all just get along, kind of thing. And it's just like, that's not reality. That's not how things work. You know, I I consider myself open-minded. I sometimes I'm so open-minded that some people it's like you're so open-minded that your brain falls out kind of thing sometimes, you know. I I try to consider as many viewpoints as I can. Then uh Oh no, what's his name now? Uh, Gluteus, uh, because I dared to disagree with uh, uh, with his video that he made against the fat shaming video of uh, whatever that bitch was named. Um, you know, he's saying, well, you know, I'm getting, I, I get tired of all you do is, is make emotional responses to things. I'm like, excuse me? You know, the first things I said, was that I agree that, uh, you know, just because someone's fat doesn't mean they should get in the front of the line. Just because someone's fat doesn't mean they should take up two seats on an airplane and only have to pay for one seat. You know? And I say this, and he sits there, his response is, well, you're just, you know, I get sick of your, you only saying emotional, <laughs> the emotional response. I'm like, fuck you, dude. Sometimes he can be a real ass. You know, sometimes I like him, but sometimes he pulls that shit, you know. It's, it's a balancing game as to whether or not you consider people's emotions or not.
You know, there is some truth to the phrase when, when someone says, nothing I say can make you feel anything. Well, there's some truth to that. But there's still a balance to that. I think about someone who was, who's an ex-friend, who <sighs> he got married to when he got married to his to his wife uh, during the wedding. He, she, they had this thing that she agreed to in the vows that uh, she would be property of her husband. And I asked him about that later, and although she wanted that because of her religious convictions, I'm like. She's not religious. It never made any sense to me. And then I later found out that he's the one that shoved it forth. And uh, she's always been very submissive. And that's actually why he wanted to get with her. He'd tell everyone that the reason why he wanted to get with her was so she could get her out of that being submissive. But that's totally not the case. They moved to some place in, in Alaska where you can only get there by a small plane. And I later find out that uh, the reason why he wanted to go there so much is so it would guarantee that she would be loyal. And then on Facebook he was posting things like uh, basically declaring that uh, when his mother and stepfather, when he was growing up, got into fights and stuff, uh, Uh, his stepfather should have taken charge by beating his mother. He said that would have taken care of all of those issues. And he can say some of the most abusive things possible to someone, and he follows it up with the phrase, nothing I say can make you feel anything. So, you know, there's, there's a balance. There is a point where what someone says can make someone feel some, some, a certain way, especially if you're trying to make them feel like shit. So, you know, it's... Anyway, if I make this video too long, it's going to be hard to upload. This is a phone video. So, anyway... I've got another video coming up. It has a lot of clips from the Stefan Mullany uh, video, and you know I say this in the video too, but I just this video is going to be different for me because I'm not trying to go into all the things that I disagree with them on. It's basically going into the things that I agree with them on. Although even in the clips that I offered, there's still some things that I disagree on, but it's only slightly. So. Maybe this video is pointless, I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway.